I'm going to be showing you how to create other admin users. Um, and as well as that, I'm going to walk you through what each admin role does and uh, what kind of pages and edit options they have access to. So once you're logged into your admin account, you're going to click to where it says admin users on the top left and then drop down the box and then click on add new admin. So first off, we have the super administrator. This is the most permissive role provided out of all the ones we have. Uh, they can do any single feature that any other admin role can do. Uh, can be done within this user role. You should ideally keep this for the site owner or the primary operator of the site. This is the absolute highest level of access you can give to anyone. Next up is just the regular administrator. These can perform all the actions of the super administrator except for creating and editing any user accounts that are higher than the field viewer uh, admin type. Now the field viewer, they can also run and view uh, tax code reports. They can view the details of auctions. They can view invoices reports. They can add notes to invoice line items uh, directly on the invoice reports. They can also mark line items as picked up on invoices and they can edit any aspects of auctions. Next up, data entry. This is a role that can create and edit auctions as well as consigners. They can view category lists. They can run items reports and they can also run tax codes reports. Beyond that, they can't do anything else. Checkout only. Uh, they can view the entire auction list. They can view invoices as well as mark them as picked up or not picked up. They can add notes to any bidder accounts. They can add line items. They can add payments to invoices. They can also view bidder account information. They can also edit the account information for invoice users. They can email invoices, delete payments. They can recover deleted invoices and line items, but they cannot delete the items themselves. They can only recover them. And then lastly is the auction only. These users can only access auction lists. They can only access item lists for auctions and they can only add and edit auction items. But beyond that, making an admin is super easy. You just need their first and last name, uh, a username, and then set a password up for them. And then click on add once you're finished adding the information. And then on the list admin users page, you'll see the first name, last name, company name, and then the role assigned to each admin user. All right, I think that about does it for admin roles. Thanks again for watching.